Now with our generic setup complete, next thing to start doing is actually prepping the vehicle and having it come to life. So we're gonna close out this window. What we wanna do is isolate just the body and we'll start with like different elements at a time. We'll do the car paint, the headlights, the, uh, the wheels, so on. So what we're gonna do is have material editor open. We're gonna go to utilities, click reset, and this just makes everything fresh and clean. We're gonna click on the top left one Click on this, which is the magic wand, if you will, it selects whatever you click on, and we're going to click on the body and this carbon fiber glossy. It's named properly. So the next thing we're going to do is right here on this select by material button, click on it, and this window comes up. And if you have things shown up and selected, that's great. Click select. If you don't, what you want to do is make sure all these buttons right here are highlighted, hit cancel, then hit it again and it should come up and it should select the things. And if it does, fantastic, click select. Now what this does is selects all the items that have this material applied to them. Now that we have that, we're gonna hold Alt and press Q. This isolates these elements. So what we have now is our carpet fiber isolated. So I saw online, there's different finishes of this car. The one we're gonna go for is the black carbon fiber, which seems like the iconic finish and why not go after what's already popular. So the first thing we're gonna do is click on the thing that says legacy or standard on the word. And then we're gonna change this to Corona legacy material. So the first thing we're gonna do, because carbon fiber is kind of tricky and actually let's see if the Corona library has carbon fiber. And if it doesn't, then we'll create it from scratch. So we're going to click on this button that says Open Corona Material Library from the Corona tab. And let's take a look. What do we have? We have car paints, ceramic, and I think they have search. So we'll do carbon. So not coming up which is fine. We'll do it from scratch and I'll kind of go over this slowly and it might be a little trial and error to see what looks the best. So the first thing we're going to do is, as we have here, we're going to change the diffuse color and this is your generic color of the, the base. So if you're thinking about this in terms of like a car paint, car paint usually has two factors. You have your base coat and then you have kind of like your metallic coat. And usually I try to do these both at once and It'll make sense what I mean by that when we go into this. So for the diffuse, for the carbon fiber, because we are going for black carbon fiber, I'm going to make this about a value of a two. What you never want to do is have a complete zero or a complete 255. You always want to have some kind of range in the uh, colors. So two is good enough for me. And then what we're going to do is for the reflection, we're going to click on this button, this little square. And what we're going to do is go to general bitmap and this window comes up. Now we're gonna to go to the folder that has all the maps that came with the car model, and there's gonna be this carbon R01. We're gonna click on this, and now what we're gonna do is on the top right, right here it says show shaded material in viewport, this button right here that has like a checker in a circle, we're gonna click on it. So now, as you can see, we have the carbon fiber applied, and we can kind of see what it looks like. So this is the texture applied on the car, now what we will do is on the top right, we're going to click on this view and now our actual things come into life. So as you can see right now, we're not really getting much action. It's just kind of like a dead car paint. And that's because even though we put the reflection map into here, our reflection level is zero. So we're going to change this to one. So now, as you can see, we're starting to get that carbon fiber look. But of course, now it's just kind of a, like almost like a clear coat visual. So what we're going to do is under glossiness, change it to about a 0.7. And so as you can see, now we're getting the spread starting to occur. And I'm looking at this image on um, Top Gear, and this is kind of like the reference of what the car looks like. So if we look at where the sun hits it or the highlights hit it or any kind of light source, it spreads apart and you could really see this carbon fiber pattern. And it really starts to kind of fade off around further away around the edges. So we're gonna try to kind of recreate that. And the way we're gonna do that is under reflection amount, we're gonna change that to like 60, 75. So that way we still have it, but not really. We're gonna lower it like so. Maybe change the glossiness to about a 0 0.6, 0 0.65. 
So as you can see, based on where the sun hits it, we get the carbon fibers visual. And then in the shade, it starts to kind of fade off, which is kind of what we want. So then the next thing what we'll do is look at the scaling of the carbon fiber, see how close we are to the real deal. So looking at this, this is pretty small. So our tiling is a little too big. So what we're going to do is go back into this uh, map and under tiling, change it from one and one to two and two. So now we have more carbon fiber tiling. And what I want to do is we're going to click show. So see this button right here that says show end result. We're going to uncheck it. And this way we could see the map. And what I want to do for this, because this is a reflection map, I want to add a little more contrast to it. And so if you open the output tab and you click on enable color map, this is kind of like your uh, your curves. So I'm going to add a bezier, tone this down. As you can see, we're adding some juice into it. Raise this one up. And then we're just going to make it a little more snappy. So this way we could really see on and off, if you will. I'm going to drag this one, the shadows, a little more black, like so. So there we go. So that's kind of how our carbon fibers look. And what I don't want is I don't want to really blur it. So under blur, we're going to change it to 0.1. And now we're going to start getting a little more sharp results out of the texture map. So now we're starting to get some of that detail out of it. So the next thing we're going to do is under the glossiness, we're going to add the same map, make it 0.1, 2, 2. And what this, the glossiness is more or less your clear coat is how diffused or how matte or how clear or how diffuse your clear coat is. So right now, because we're using a map, it became very diffused. So under reflection glosses, we're going to change this to about 50. We're going to change it to 40. 0 0.7, 0 0.8. So we're kind of blending the two. So now if you zoom in, we're starting to get the carbon fiber. It's showing up. It's getting some of that dramatic play in it. So it comes in and comes out. So that's good. And the last thing we want to do is add a little bit of that bump to the weave pattern to show up. So under the bump, so right here, what we're going to do is click on where it says no map. We're going to oh, go to Corona, and we're going to Corona normal map. Then what you're going to do is click on add gamma to input. Then we're going to click on no map, go to general, bitmap, and then we're going to load this carbon N, and this is your normal map. And so we're going to do 0.1 for blur, 2, and 2. And so this kind of gives us a little bit of a 3D shape to the weave pattern. And what we want to do is probably tone it down. So we don't want it too intense. It's just there just for a little bit. So now that we have that, we have our carbon fiber, but we're not really getting any of that beautiful clear coat finish to it. And if we look at the, uh, the reference, you definitely see a clear coat finish. There's a gloss finish on top of it. So what we will do is where it says legacy, Corona legacy material, we're going to click on this. And then you're going to click on Corona layered material and then press OK. This window comes up. What we want to do is have it say keep old material as sub material. Make sure that's checked and press OK. And what this does, it preserves that material we just dialed in as our base code. And now we're adding our clear code on top. So if you were to think about it, if you were spray painting a car, if you're coloring a car, we did our base code. And now these are the layers you put on top of it. So this was layer one, this is layer two, three, four, blah, blah, blah. So for layer two, we're going to do Corona legacy material. We're going to make the diffuse. Now, I know I mentioned earlier to never have it at a zero, but because this is a clear code, I do not want any diffuse elements. The only thing I want this thing to do is show me reflection. So I am going to make this pitch black. As you can see, even with one, we have shape, we have shadow, zero, it's, it's gone. It's like a dark hole. So now that we have that, we're going to change the reflection level to one. And as you can see, now we're getting a clear coat. And before we do any other adjustments, we're going to go back for mask. We're going to click on where it says no map and we're going to change this to fall off. And then for fall off type, 
We're going to change it to Fresnel. And as you can see now, we're starting to get a clear coat finish on the carbon fiber. So let's say now you're like, all right, I have the clear coat, but I actually want a little, a little more life out of it. So what you could do now is go back to the base coat and see where it says uh, Fresnel IOR 1.5, change this to eight. So as you can see now, when we change that, it makes it more like a chrome ball, but because we have it as a fall off mask type, it's literally just kind of like a transparent film, if you will. So now we have that occurring. And if we zoom in on our body, we should have that carbon fiber show up. And since it's starting to be a little more hidden, what we'll do is for reflection, let's go to 90. So as you can see, it's starting to pop up a little more. For reflection glossiness, let's go to 70. And all this is at this point is trial and error. It's looking at reference, looking at what you're getting and figuring out whether you like it or you don't like it and what you want to tweak. And so I'm going to click stop on this. I'm going to press F10. And then here for, so denoising, I don't have anything, which is good. I was going to say, if we're getting some of that denoising starting to blur it, we want to turn that off. So as you can see, we have that nice carbon fiber weave showing up. I'm going to press F10. Go to the uh, the camera, enable bloom and glare, and this should give me some nice little lens flare shimmer off of where the sunlight's hitting it. There we go. So that, in a nutshell, is your generic carbon fiber setup for the carb paint. And um, you could add orange peel to it. You could get really crazy with it. For the purpose of this, I'm going to keep it pretty simple. One thing I might do is I might tone it down just a notch. So go back to your clear coat, and then what we'll do is we'll name this clear coat so it's easy to understand what we're looking at. And then the top layer, we'll name this uh, carbon fiber base. So now we have that. We're going to go back to the clear coat and change this from F8 to F4 so we get a little bit more uh, juice back in the carbon fiber. And what we may want to do is go back to our diffuse and change it from 2 to 1 to give it a little more dark shade. And so there we go. So now when we click on this bottom right icon down here or press Alt Q, we're going to unhide everything. And as you can see, we are now starting to have some shape and some actual uh, details showing up, which is our carbon fiber car. So that in a nutshell is how you create a carbon fiber material from scratch.